Now, our man Mike Randall is on the road once again. He's searching for family-friendly places where you can get there and back on one tank of gas. Tonight's one tank getaway is two hours southeast of Buffalo. Take a look. You'll see the sign on Route 54 in Hammondsport. If you miss the sign, look for that big plane behind it. That's our signature flag. It, it tells people you are here. Here is the Curtis Museum, a fabulous tribute to Glenn H. Curtis, an aviation pioneer who began with bikes and became known as the fastest man on earth when he hit 136.4 miles per hour on his motorcycle in 1907. And then over here we have the 1912 uh, Curtis flying boat that's in the process of being uh, reassembled. Rick Lysenring has been the curator of this very cool collection for 15 years. He knows all the ins and outs of the vintage cars, Curtis motorcycles, and lots and lots of airplanes. We have 25 full-size aircraft in our collection, and they all pertain to Glenn H. Curtis, a local son who is well-known to aviators and motorcyclists. Back in the day, anyone who took off in one of these flying machines was definitely daring. When they started issuing pilots licenses back in 1911, which Curtis owned, held pilot's license number one. History buffs, fans of flying, and anyone who's wild about anything on wheels will be right at home here. Big kids and little ones will enjoy some of the hands-on exhibits. The, the rudder and the tail is controlled by the, the stick here. Through September, they have a special collection of props from some of your favorite space movies. Now there's a communicator from the original Star Trek TV series that looks suspiciously like my cell phone. I'm not kidding, see? They're open daily, welcoming thousands of guests each year. Rick says the thing that surprises most visitors is the man himself. After he retired from aviation, he was building travel trailers and racing motorboats, and he loved speed. The Curtis Museum, a high-flying, fun, one-tank getaway. In Hammondsport, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.